First and foremost is, I would like to say, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praises is due to Allah. We praise him, we seek his aid, and we ask for his forgiveness. Whoever Allah guides, none can misguide him, and whoever Allah leads astray, none can guide him. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship but Allah, and Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is his slave, servant, and messenger. Now, first and foremost is that we also should show respect as well. And I would also like to thank you as well. Mm. Because I know that we're going to go into my story, but let's be honest here as well. Because of the stigmatization that was attached to me and all the kind of security, intel and everything else, mm. nobody really wanted to come near me. <laughs> it was a person such as yourself as well that showed mm. integrity, bravery as well. And from the very beginning, even before this podcast, you was always there. We have to big up Jojo as well. So AK. yeah, of course, mm -hmm. of course, I'm, I am. <coughs> yeah. As soon as we go through it, but as I'm conversing with you now, yep. I'm just showing my appreciation to you and Ice Cream. Mm. And thank you me. know, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you, because yeah. I've been waiting for this one. Mm. And to the audience, this is a wife free zone. Mm. Wife free zone. You get me? And the child mm. artist, you get me? ADHD. But, yeah, bring, it, bring us to where it all started. Like, where was you born? Okay, so I was actually born in Lambeth, South London, St. Mm. Thomas's Hospital. St. Thomas's, where's that? Mm. Oh my so that's in yeah. So that's in Lambeth. Mm. Is it South, um, South London? Yeah, St oh. Thomas's Hospital. Mm. So you know you have like St George's, mm. which is in um, South West Tooting, mm. and then you have St Thomas's. So most most individuals from the South South London region, especially South West, mm. they would either have probably have gone to St George's or St Thomas's. Mm. Okay. In my case, I was in St Thomas's. Mm. Yeah, it's not about King's College, I think. Mm. <laughs> the okay. king's, yeah, it's king's in it. Mm, yeah, king's, that's true as yeah. well. Yeah, that's correct. But yeah, so um, siblings. Mm, of course, I have a very large, um, very large family as well. I have five brothers, and I have nine sisters. Wow! <clears throat> really? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Wow. Where'd you come? In the? Are you? So you it said varies. His wife, um, <clears throat> so um, it's my father's a twelfth tribe. Okay. My mother. They had me very young. So from my mother's from my mother's side, because after she had me about five years after, she actually married, and then I had my other siblings from my mother. Mm -hmm. So there's six of us from my mom, and I'm the eldest okay. from my mother. Right. But from my father, I'm about. You could say I'm about middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm getting mad still. What's about you hot? You no, know, like when you're on the train, yeah, and you're hot. <laughs> You're still keeping on your jacket. <laughs> I thought I was going to, like, I had to just take it off, but same, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so boom. 12 tribe, what does that mean? Yeah, so my father's a, um, a Rastafarian. He's a 12 tribe. Yeah. So what they also believe in, their belief system, is that they're from the, if you look in biblical texts as well, mm. and it's like Jacob and his 12 sons. Mm. And so that's what they mirror themselves from the 12 tribe. Mm. So yeah, it's um, through growing up as well. It's a very loving community as well. Yeah, and it's quite funny as well because yeah, my dad's um, a Rasta as well. That, so yeah. you would know. <laughs> when I was actually growing up as well, and do you know sometimes in school as well they would do things like timeline, and they would also articulate how many aunties or uncles you had, and because like with the Rastafarian belief system as well, they have so much kind of respect for each other as well. When I was growing up, I actually thought I had more uncles and aunties. Yeah. So when they were saying that, like it's impossible, the teachers, when I'm trying to mention so many, mm. because that's how it's raised. So that kind of community spirit. Mm. Did you used to have dreads? No, I didn't. Mm. That's one thing about my father as well. Um, I used to love about him as well. Mm. He never imposed his own views. What he would do is he would articulate it mm -hmm. and he would inform you what he believes that, you know, what his belief system is and what he believes that is best, but he would allow us to experience it for ourselves with that helping hand. Okay. Did any of your um, siblings turn dread? No. No one followed? Yeah, so my older brother, <laughs> yeah, my older, my older brother, Tony, he had dreads for a while. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, he followed. Mm. But yeah, so primary school, how was you in primary school? Mm, that's a... Uh, primary school now what they basically said was as well I'm not trying to blow any trumpets and so forth what the teachers actually said to my parents 
that I was um, highly, extremely intelligent. Mm. But the problem that they were having as well, that I just couldn't, um, I just weren't compatible with other kids. I kept on fighting. <laughs> <laughs> you, but for, you don't know why. But for me, yeah, I could easily articulate that. It weren't that. I've always had an issue with those that I honestly believe that takes advantage on those that are weaker. Mm -hmm. I always, yeah, I always felt that was my obligation. I always felt that it was up to me to actually stand up for those that were the voiceless, those that never, that can't defend themselves. Mm. So I like think bully that's the bully, hundred and one percent, or beat up the bully. Yeah, not bully the bully. But you know what I mean. Man's though. not bullying. Man okay. beating up. You get me. But yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's one of those, and not only that as well. When you're young as well, you got high levels of testosterone as well. So let's be honest. Not every case when <laughs> I was fighting at school as well that it was to do with because they were bullying somebody else. It was just things that we may consider as being a disrespect. I know now the young people call it violation, mm -hmm. but it's just like disrespect. So it was, um, you know, growing up, going through the trials and tribulations. And I, I call it the rites of passage. Did you like like to learn in primary school? Oh, yeah, absolutely loved it. What did you like? Um, History. From primary school? Yeah, history and religious what sort, education. What sort of history um, yeah. are you interested in? All types of history, because you have to also understand my foundation as well. My family, especially my father, being a 12th tribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also, one of my uncles is actually a professor in black history. So, Augustus Perrineau. So, we've... We, is that his name? Yeah. Oh, big, big, big. So, we've always been taught on regards to black empowerment. Yeah. And understanding our roots and our history. So, I found it. And one of the things that I was always taught as well is never, never allow yourself to become ignorant. Mm. So even listening to the kind of distorted version of what history I was, was going to say, mm -hmm. even though we know it's not, and then for me to kind of like assess the situation, even from that young age, and even question it, even go back home and said, like, "Mum, like, or father, like, this is what they're saying," and they're saying, "No, this is not the case," and then giving it the full breakdown, and then later on in years, which I would articulate later on down the shore, what I started to learn myself. Mm -hmm. And what I started to implement. What was your um, religious background? Obviously, the twelfth tribe. But did they go? Did they go to church or not? Yeah. Tribe. So you know what, my father never. As again, as what mm. I said, he never really imposed that. That was kind of private to him and his. But I was living with my mum because mm. obviously they're separated. Mm. So um, my grandparents were. It's a mix. So my mother, she's Church of England. Okay. My grand, my grandmother from my father's side. Mm. She's um St. Lucian, so they were Catholic. Is your mum Lucian? No. Not my father's St. Lucian. Okay. Mm. And where's your mum from? Um St. Vincent. Okay. Vinci. Yes. <laughs> small <laughs> island. We got mm. we got the small island. <laughs> 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 That's correct. No, I it, we Dominique, I said, uh, put my Dominique out, but mm. Yeah. Mm. definitely. So um yeah. So did your mum used to go to church, yeah? Yeah, she did. did I was she? actually I was actually an autoboy. Church of England. What? They're doing that thing? Yeah. I know, I'm getting <laughs> mad, but... <laughs> no, I'm so yeah, I would, um, I would hold the cross. Mm. I would read passages from the Bible, like, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, mm. you know, and so forth. Mm. Yeah, that's... that's um, it's mad because obviously my mum is Catholic. She was Catholic. And like, uh, yeah, I was religious as well, in that sense. So, yeah. We're going to get to how you've changed, but same style. You get me where mm. religious from morning creep. You get me? Where yeah. You? I'm joking. Boom. So primary school, did you, did you stay in primary school the whole way through? I was on the, yeah, this is, so, pri so primary school, I went to um, St. George's. So St. George's was in Patmore State, Ones of Fraud. Mm. But before that, I think it was, um, I went to another primary school, which was, I think it was Falconbrook. <laughs> so it's just in that way, I think. Is it? Yeah, 100%, that before. yes. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Big him up, big up, Swiss. Big Yeah, yeah, please, mm -hmm. yeah. Big him up, definitely. <laughs> so I actually went Falconbrook mm. initially, but because of my behaviour, I was actually on the verge of being excluded because mm -hmm. I was living at my grandparents'. Mm. 
See, what a lot of people don't um, understand as well, that I was originally from Clapham Junction. I'm actually from Nine Badger Court. Mm. So this is where my grandparents actually lived. But mm. because I was on the verge and then my mum actually got remarried, not remarried, <coughs> married. Got married. Mm. So I then, obviously, I followed my mother and I lived on Wandsworth Road. Why was you living at your grandparents? Because my mum was still, a sc- technically, my mum was pregnant with me at the age of 16. Mm-hmm. She was, and then she... So was mine. Mm. <laughs> yeah. so we can relate to that yeah and so she was technically still a young person you mm. know a young she's still young she's at school age so she was 17 when she um gave birth to me then from 17 then from 17 she was still at her mother's house until she met my stepfather um at 17 18, 22 and then they married and then they moved to Wandsworth road which okay. was patmore estate how did you feel about um, being away from your mum? I'm going to be honest here. Um, I love my grandparents on both sides. I was mm-hmm. going to say you're close to your grandparents. They were very. Mm, you know how it is, especially being Afro-Caribbean yeah. as well. Mm. Is that the grandmother is the matriarch. Blood, you lot's mm. grab, you lot's grandma is like my mum's age. Mm. <laughs> no. Right, stop laughing. No. Seriously, Older. stop laughing. I'm not. All right, cool. So, <laughs> Stop. It's mad though.